Here's another quick tip from Whole Latte Love. Not certain what a cappuccino, macchiato, mocha, or latte is? Well, stick with me and we'll clear up confusion surrounding the names of milk-based espresso drinks. Now keep in mind, depending on the country, cafe, or barista making it, interpretations can vary. So we'll stick to basic definitions as used in the United States. Before we get into what's in a particular drink, let's talk about the parts, which are espresso, steamed milk, and foamed milk. Espresso is both the drink and the process used to extract that beverage from finely ground coffee under pressure. Steamed milk is milk heated while adding a small amount of air. While being heated, steam power mixes the air into the milk to form super fine air bubbles. Very little air is added, so the milk increases in volume by about 25%. Foamed milk is similar to steamed milk, but adds a lot more air, so the milk expands much more in volume than it does for steamed milk. Now, steamed milk resembles latex paint in a can, while foamed milk is airier and stiffer to the point of holding a momentary peak when poured. Heating the milk and adding air yields a sweeter flavor and creamy texture. And here's a little tip. We're convinced that milk is often heated too much, so if you want the best flavor, try steaming milk to about 140 degrees for smaller drinks and up to about 155 for larger ones. Perhaps the most popular milk-based espresso drink in the U.S. is the latte. It's served in many sizes, but typically has one part espresso with three to five parts steamed milk and a thin layer of foamed milk on top. Milk is poured into the espresso and the two mix together. A cappuccino is one-third steamed milk, one-third espresso, and one-third foamed milk. A standard size is five to seven ounces. Like the latte, milk is poured into the espresso and ends with the milk foam on top, rising above the rim of the cup, which acts as a natural insulating blanket, allowing it to stay hotter longer. Next up are the macchiato and latte macchiato. In Italian, macchiato means stained or spotted. So a traditional macchiato is a double espresso, with a dot of foamed milk on top. The latte macchiato reverses this and pours a small amount of espresso into much higher volume of foamed milk. Poured right, it results in a distinctive three-layered look with the espresso holding in the middle and a stain of espresso on top of the milk foam. Last up is the mocha. As with many of the drinks, there are a lot of variations, but traditional preparation is two parts espresso to two parts chocolate sauce and one part steamed milk. In the U.S., a popular prep method is preparing a latte and stirring chocolate sauce into the espresso prior to pouring the steamed milk. Now don't forget, prep methods and names vary from country to country, cafe to cafe, and barista to barista. So if you're not sure what you're getting or have a specific request, talk to the barista. If they're good, they'll be happy to tell you or take your special order. The number one source for everything coffee? WholeLatteLove.com.